Hey guys, welcome back to QAC TV, the live show. I'm here to host with Hannah. Welcome back, Hannah. Hannah had a brief uh, time away from us because you were doing what? I was taking my finals for school. How'd they go? Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> She's still going to be here for a couple more years. It's cool. You guys won't need to miss me. So uh, normally we have a production show before the live show where we talk about what we're going to talk about during the, our time on, on live. And I didn't tell Hannah that I was going to ask her this, but uh, what's up with you skipping out on the parade? Bruce, I had to work. <laughs> this is your job, Hannah. Bruce, you don't pay me. My other job pays me. Speaking of not getting paid and showing up, Mandy's here. <laughs> Mandy didn't get paid and she showed up to the parade. Mandy's job closes at like five. When does Edwards close? Six. Six. So you heard Mandy, so you know Mandy's here today. <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about some fun events going on this week. We're going to be talking about some jobs that are in the area. And Mandy wants to tell everyone about how her weekend went because apparently it was crazy. And if you saw the videos, you know that it was crazy. But she's going to talk to us about SantaCon and the trains and some other things that happened. So let's get to the nitty gritty and talk about some events. So what's going on this weekend, Hannah? All right. So our first event that we're going to talk about is the Ugly Sweater Party at the Poor House Pub. It is on Thursday at 7 p.m. So wear your ugliest sweater because that's the how you have fun, you know? Yeah. I think next week, and we'll talk about this more later, we should wear ugly sweaters uh, for next week's show. So you're just going to wear your normal sweater? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. You know, you know when you can feel yourself walk into a joke and, like, you just can't do anything about it? You're just stuck there? See, Hannah, Hannah's feeling a little uh, feisty today because her friend's here. You want to say hello to your friend? Hi, Melanie. Yes, Melanie's joining us from Florida. She's in the booth, so we can't see her, <laughs> but she's throwing up the peace sign. So it's very cool. Friends can stop by and see us whenever they want. Let us know if you want to stop by. Maybe Hannah can tell you funny jokes. <laughs> Bruce loves me. <laughs> so make sure you go to the Poor House. That's going to be a fun event. They, they were also a part of SantaCon. Right. So we saw what kind of fun they have. Lots of fun. Yeah. So what else do we have going on? Our next event is the Lunch with Santa at the Bay Country Moose Lodge. That is on December 16th from 12 to 4. Sounds like it'll be, be a lot of fun. Yeah. The magic show, there's a magic show, it starts at 12.30. And then Santa's going to be there from 1.30 to 3.30. So lunch with the big guy. Yes. And he's full of magic, so why wouldn't there be a magic show with yeah. Santa? It'd be super cool. Yeah, that's cool. One more, one more stop before uh, next weekend so that kids can uh, meet Santa. Because there's not a lot of events this weekend that we've seen with Santa involved. So if you do know some, please let us know in the comments and we'll make sure we're sharing them with the rest of the community. Because any chance the kids have to meet Santa is a great chance. Yep, a lot of fun. Yeah. What All else right. is going on? Acro speed dating. So that is on Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I don't know much about it, but Bruce, you can tell me a little bit about it. I do know a little bit about acro yoga now. So this is being hosted by Carol Ibex and Foundation Island Yoga. And they're partnering up with El Jefe, the restaurant. Okay. And acro yoga is a mix between yoga and acrobatics. And I actually just got to have a great time filming a piece for Foundations Island hey, Yoga hey, hey, last hey, weekend hey, with Angela. And there's a video now playing of, you can see my perfect yoga form. See those straight legs? Like, yeah, they're definitely straight. It's the, the angle adds 15 degrees. <laughs> but acro yoga and speed dating, so it's a fun way to stay in shape. It's a cool, different way to meet new people. So you're going to have a lot of fun if you go to this event. And if you go, you get a ticket for a free drink at El Jefe's. So you can take your new yogi friend to El Jefe's. You, you will need, yeah, I needed like a 50 pack after acro yoga. Carol knows I'm not in shape. <laughs> but <laughs> that, that video will be coming out soon. It'll, it was a great time. The video is lots of fun. Can't wait to show that with everyone. It looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Next, we have holiday present wrapping at the Queen Anne's County Library Kent Island branch. Yes. That is also going to be December 16th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So bring your gifts. Yep. All you have to bring is your gifts. Right. They have the wrapping paper, the tape, everything you need. Hopefully they have someone there that can help because I can't wrap presents. Really? 
Yeah, I mean, really, yeah, like, look at me. I can't even put my shirt on right. You know what I found out last night? What's that? My mom used to never wrap presents. Like, she would just put them under the tree. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> you don't remember? I don't remember. I always thought she wrapped the presents, but last night we were, she, we were talking about it, and she was like, I never wrapped your guys' presents. <laughs> like, oh. Does she do that, any, like, now? Does, Does she, she wrap it all? She puts them in bags. But usually, she just, you know. She just mom. tells me. Well, uh, Mom, uh, <laughs> if you can go to the Queens County uh, Library, the Ken Island branch, yeah. they're going to help you wrap all your presents this year. Surprise, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I would be very surprised. You know what else is happening at the Queens County Library this weekend? What? Hey, guys. It's Star Wars week, which is by far the best week of the year, every other year now. I so guess Okay. You know, I'm with Mandy on this one. You guys are going to get a thumbs down on this video. You better <laughs> stop hating on Star Wars. Half the world's ready for it. Star Wars week. It comes out this week. It's so exciting. And the uh, library, every day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this weekend, they're doing drawings for a free Star Wars Lego set for kids. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So just all you have to do is stop by the library, get your name into whatever they're doing, a hat. I don't know. But they're going to draw names, and you get a free Lego set. Nice. Legos are fun. Yeah, I can, oh, now you can, I can get on board with Legos. You can take Hannah to the movie theater. She'll be preoccupied with Legos <laughs> while you watch Star Wars. That's for mom also. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So there's not a lot of events, but those are some great events going on. Right? Yep. Cool. And I think we have something that's starting today, right? Yes. Today's a big day. It is, and Thor is here to tell us all about it. Happy Chicago Day. Happy Chanaka! Happy Hanaka! Put on the Yamaka! It's time for Hanaka! Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Thor had a hard time with that one. Yeah, he's been getting more and more difficult with him. Like. <laughs> He just gets get, like confused. What, was that the Adam Sandler Hanukkah song in the background? It was. Oh wow. Thor. Thor going to get QAC TV sued. Thor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thor always a good time. And yes, it is Hanukkah. Starts today. So that's as exciting. yeah, that's very exciting with Christmas gearing up. Sometimes people forget that Hanukkah is already starting too. So yep. happy Hanukkah to everyone out there who celebrates. And as you can see, we've been joined. <laughs> Hi, Mandy! Yay! I heard you had a very fun weekend. Wow. <laughs> fun to say the least. Tell us about your weekend. So we went, me and Ted adventured to, in the snow, to SantaCon. And if you didn't make SantaCon, you are missing out because it was very adventurous, to say the least. But it was a lot of fun and like definitely some really good charities that they did. But everyone was having a good time cool. everyone we didn't meet, and everybody was so friendly like you were you know, dressed up we didn't well the snow i had lights and all but the snow like kind of threw us off a little bit because it was kind of nasty the snow. But. you had fun in the snow what yeah. did you do in the snow um so my boyfriend lives on a big farm and so he took me and melanie and he tied a sled to his four-wheeler and he took us sledding that's cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. So Millie again from Florida. Yes. So she must have been excited to see snow. Right, because she hasn't seen snow in a very long time. That's cool. Yeah. What else did you do this weekend? Train show. Train show. Yeah, it was definitely. So they had a record. Um, I was there from one to three doing Santa pictures, and by three they had made an all-time record. Since they've That's been awesome. doing the train nice. show, they had like, um, like a thousand thirty-eight oh or fifty gosh. people come through. Yeah. You know That's why? Crazy. Because we made a video. Well, this is true. <laughs> I mean, everyone knew because we yeah, told them. But yeah, that was like yeah, one yeah. of their biggest things that they had. And they had a Lego train set. A guy came with Legos. And oh, that's it was cool. Really oh, that's cool. awesome. Yeah. I think awesome. we did 96 pictures with Santa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. Santa was busy. That sounds like a fun busy. weekend. It was. See? That's great. So let us know if you have events going on so Mandy or I or Hannah can stop by on weekends and we can check them out too. And we can talk about all the events that are Definitely. going on. Yep. So we've cleared our events, and we want to talk about, we, we told you last week we want to start talk, talking to you about jobs in the area. And we have a couple of jobs that we just pulled out. And remember, there's tons of jobs everywhere. So it's not just these, as I close my own page. But the first job we're going to talk about is actually at the Polo Ralph Lauren store oh, at the outlets. That's nice. Yeah, and the reason I want this to be the first one is because one of my first jobs was actually at the Polo Ralph Lauren store at the outlets. Oh, cool. Is that why you wear blue and orange all the time? 
It's why I wear <laughs> polo all the time. Oh, okay. But yes, it, I do. I mean, I did buy every blue and orange shirt they had there, is to answer your question. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I did work there. So they're looking for an assistant manager. And there's also another store, Tommy Bahamas, up at the outlets, who's looking for a sales associate. So if you have any expertise in sales, check those two stores out. Get a job for the holidays. But I want to talk to you guys about first jobs. Because that was my first job. What was your first job, Hannah? My first job was a birthday host at the YMCA in Easton. You have like done everything. <laughs> <laughs> like for really being 19, you've done like the most random jobs <laughs> I've ever heard. That is a pretty random one. I don't remember that one. Yeah. First job, Mandy? Um, Robin's Nest in Easton. Oh, that's I cool. worked in the greenhouse. Cool. In the summer, and then I tied up Christmas trees with the boys in the winter. When was this? Do you remember? Oh, uh, 11th grade in school. So like 80. So I graduated in 2000. Oh, weird. So, Sorry. Yeah. So not 89. Yep. Oh, man. My brother actually worked at Robin's Nest. I worked there for, I guess, four years. Almost four years, yeah. Cool. Yeah, my, my brother worked there in like 96, 97, though. I've only had three jobs. And really, she doesn't do work at any of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just there to entertain. That's cool. Also, uh, uh, Correct Care Solutions, that's right here in Centerville. They're looking for a certified nursing assistant, which is above my pay grade. Atlantic Tractor is looking for a, go ahead, Mandy. Agronomist. Agronomist. What do they do, Mandy? Because I have no idea. Agronomist is like soil. <laughs> They're just soil. I mean, they, you just they, lay they, down in the dirt and like, you're an agronomist. I mean, you don't really lay in the dirt. <laughs> I, I don't know. You just offended every agronomist out there. If there's an agronomist watch. Do we have agronomists that wants to be on our show? Yeah, yeah. You can tell us. Me. I'm no, the no, farmer's no. wife. I can just tell you I know what tractors do, and but I don't know the details of an agronomist. I've never even like walked on a farm. Okay. So we need to do change that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be an agronomist for a day. There you go. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fun. Uh, Jim Brown, state farm agent in Chester, is looking for a assistant, a staff assistant, if you are interested in that line of work. The Spay Now Animal Surgery Clinic in Graysonville is looking for a veterinary receptionist. So if you love animals, maybe that's a job for you. Callahan's Gas and Appliances is looking for a service technician. And Eastern Shore Dental Care, who we love because we've got to visit them multiple times. They're in Chester. They're looking for a dental assistant. And if you work there, you might actually get to meet the Tooth Fairy. That's true. She shows yeah. up there. <laughs> so that'd be a fun job. And then Food Lion Centerville. They're looking for multiple positions from the top to the bottom, everywhere you can, you can think of being in that store, they need a position. So if you're looking for an extra job for the holidays or if you're looking for something for the new year, please check out any of those businesses. You can find them online and you can always go to our page at qac.org to find any county jobs you might like. Or as uh, Jeff Strait told us last week, you can go to the Board of Ed page because okay. they're always looking for people also. Always. Yes. Okay. So that clears our docket, which means we can talk about next week, which yes. I'm so excited for. Well, don't forget to tell them about Edwards. Santa is at Edwards this weekend. How can I forget about Santa? I know. Edwards? I mean, I'm here all the time. Yeah, we've only talked about it for like five live shows. Oh, my goodness. Santa at Edwards. I'm sorry. He's coming, yes. He's Come coming. see me. I'm going to be fully dressed as an elf. Remember you told me? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I told everyone fun. that you were going to be an elf, so now you have to be an elf. That's, you know, <laughs> but I do love it. But yes. That's going to be fun. 10 to 1, so free pictures. Come see us. 10 to 1, free pictures. Cool. Edwards. Cool. Next, Next week. Next week. Next week's going to be our Christmas show. Yay. And if you saw our Halloween show, we had a whole bunch of fun. We played some games and we just tried to have fun and get people in the spirit. So we're going to do Christmas and we're going to wrap it up even more. Oh, I'm excited. Do you think they're ready? No. <laughs> do I think you're ready? Absolutely. I own Christmas. <laughs> you're not ready. I have all 15 trees up. I'm ready. All you 15? got the, all right, What was the 15th one? Because you forgot it last time. Um, did I? Yeah, did I you only named 14. Tinkerbell. That is that, that is a missing one. Good job, Tinkerbell. Okay. They're all up. There you go. All 15 trees. So next week, what do you say, guys? Ugly sweaters? Ugly sweaters. Every, ugly everything. Top to bottom. That's pretty mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's right there. <laughs> <laughs> see that? That's, that's, I see I came back because she made fun of me earlier. Yeah. So if you, if you thought that was mean, just watch the beginning of the show where she made fun of me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have a ton of fun next week. We're going to do the Christmas show. We're going to play games, talk about our favorite Christmas holiday treats, our favorite movies that Maybe you guys we'll be don't watch. Maybe these games. Yeah, I have any We should games. bring our own game. Yeah, you guys yeah. bring a game. We'll, we'll try to get more. I asked Renee to come back. Nothing with Star Hopefully Wars. Hopefully Renee can come no back. Star Wars. 
no st- Star Wars week. So hopefully <laughs> Renee comes back next week, and hopefully by saying that Renee might come back next week, she feels pressure yes. that she has to come back. You have to come back. And then we uh, miss you. <laughs> I say we just drag uh, Ted in the camera next week and make him play a game. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. You're in, Ted. All right, guys. So that's our that's our week. Those are the events. Those are some jobs. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share our Facebook page. Please like and share our YouTube page. Yep. Watch us on Channel 7. Check we, us out. Yeah, check us out everywhere. We had a great time, and we'll see you next time. Sailors.